What's good, what's good? It's your boy Midwest Kong, aka Uncle Bench Press, aka the Bench Press Sensei. Yeah. So check this out, man. For those of y'all don't know, the first annual Jungle Wars was at the American Fit Expo in Houston, Texas, and it was hot in the mall. Hey yo, slave hot, okay? Let's talk about that. But anyway, so yeah, man, shout out to everybody who came out. Shout out to American Fit Expo, man. We got some big things coming, man. So check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and walk y'all through this, man. A little commentary because I want y'all to know how much this day meant to me. That's the legendary Flex Wheeler, and that's Ohio Sam. We all know who that is. He don't do nothing, but just walk up. You see how he look? See, he big, so he looks sweet behind me. I wanted to be the first one at the expo, right? Because this is my first time on this side. I've always wanted to be the guy who people came to see. Now, I wanted to get there before CT because I ain't sure if I was going to have seven people coming to see me. So due to the fact that CT is a mega, mega influence, I said, let me get there before him. Now I'm talking to the two cops. They both played on Players Club. No, I'm joking. That's big train in the fan, and, and they, they get it tight. You come in there acting up, they're going to do something to you. Now, the second I walk in, man, I run into some power lifters. And, and, it, and honestly, man, this I know a lot of people look at this and they feel like, it's old to us, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? Because there was a time in my life that I was almost six feet under. So for somebody to notice me for something positive and not something negative, it's huge. You know what I'm saying? So here I'm going to stroll through. Little big dog. Big dog got me on this camera, man. Yeah, go on tell him about himself. Tell him. Tell him, Kong. Yeah. Tell him. Hey, I told him. I said, hey, man, y'all need to turn the air conditioner on outside of Houston. Houston's terrible. But this right here is gratification, man. This right here is a blessing. All I said, I wanted to earn my seat at the table. And this is what I share the table with, you know what I'm saying? And um, I was shocked, man. I was one of the first influencers there, and people was coming up, saying they like my content, man. And uh, it's just, for me, guys, I've always told y'all, number one, that I was a real negative dude, real violent guy. So I didn't like being around big crowds, you know what I'm saying? I didn't like, after I got stabbed, it was tough for me to be in a crowd of people because that's how it happened, you know what I'm saying? And now you gotta look, you used to look back at the day and people staring at you and you kinda would have a negative undertone, like what the hell are they looking at? Now people were staring at you because they're like, man, that's really dude, you know? And, and, and listen, man, I ain't the biggest star in the industry, man. I ain't even cracked the surface. And I got so much more coming and so much more to offer just versus just fitness. There's a lot of big things coming with Sons of a Beast. That movement alone is about to be huge. So it's so much that's gonna be able to be presented to help others, you know, and doing it with the people that I love. You know, C.T. Fletcher, Julius Maddox, T.D. Smash, Sam, Derek, uh, Don, like we really got it. We really got something special. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Bo Fitness right here. This is our sponsor for the, Bo Fitness, I can't say enough about them. They in Houston, Texas. Y'all want to get anything done, man, go to Bolt Fitness, man. Let me hurry up and get them out the way because they are legit. Shout out to Bolt Fitness. Um, this is one of my favorite things, too, dealing with kids. Dealing with kids, man, it's one of my favorite things. Young lady really didn't want to take the picture, but uh, this is my man, DJ. DJ Kid Bray. Hey, yo, hey, hey, we trying to get him to drop out of school, man, and get homeschooled. You know, I'll teach you one plus one is 17. You did what I'm telling you because we want him to travel with us, man. My man, Tom Monster, man, now that he realized, you know, he tries to be like me. I'm glad I could be an influence to my man. That was Gorilla O with him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The young gentleman right here is an inspired power lifter. I told him I don't know nothing about that. I'm not a lying ass influencer. I said, my homies is here. When they get here, they can talk to you. He said, but I just really like your content, bro, and I appreciate you. And, and um, guys, I don't, I'm not an autograph guy. That, that made me feel like, like, I don't know. It just feel different. But I started signing belts, man. And some I got to get used to, too. Um, I, I, I'm just taking it all in as being somebody that that has a platform that people people like. And, and, and for me, that means a lot because I don't have to create and, and do other crazy things. I can just literally be me. You know, when you don't worry about the numbers and you worry about the actual authenticity, that when you finally get out here and people meet you, it doesn't make a difference how many followers you got. It's the loyal ones. I just heard Mack Truck speak on that. Shout out to Mack Truck. So to have that experience, man, like I said, I got there early. I wanted to experience the whole thing. Wanted to be the first there, last to leave. Uh, you know, that's kind of a mentality. They, they, they go old man. So you know old man come, you know what I'm saying? He don't bring the, he bring the crowd. But, he, you know, and this right here, guys, this is the pivotal moment in my fitness career. 
Because in 2013, I said when I went to the Arnolds, I will not be coming back here until I make a name for myself. And now I don't have to wait in line. I can stand with the people that I've admired in this industry. I can, I, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the in crowd now. And this is something me and Sam went through for years and years, man. Just opportunity, man, you know, to, to be able to do what we do. And this is this is huge. You know, this is big time for us. And to be able to experience it, it's like normal now. You know, walk through the airport, uh, even in your local gym now, you know what I'm saying? And it's so it feels so good for somebody to say, hey, man, I like your content. And, man, when you said this about mental health, when you said this about family, you, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know, I don't have all the answers. I have the real answers from a really transparent person. And I think that's what people gravitate to. Shout out to our armed forces, man, the military. They was in the house. They actually jumped in on that bench. That video will be coming soon. But um, this this is this right here is huge for us, man. I just really appreciate all. I just want to thank Pops, man. For Pops worked me too, cause Pops ain't sit down. I was wondering why Pops had the old Michael Meyer boots on. You gotta wear the right shoes, dog. You gotta wear the right shoes. If you don't. Yo, them feet gonna be hollering, man. And this is very tiring. And I was supposed to bench. Well, I did bench. I hit 77 on 225, which is obviously not my best. But I was supposed to bench. I mean, I was set to supposed to go for the 90. And this just took a lot out of me. But it was good because my energy was so up from good energy, at least. You know. And we we had a we had a really long line. We pops came, and every time I looked at him, and he was still standing, I said, Well, I gotta stand myself up because. I can't let the old man outwork me. They go TD smash. Now TD is too damn hot for you to have your ass in there. My man Big Q is back there. Quincy Wilson, that's my man right here. Uh, a, a supporter, man. Good dude, man. Real good dude. Oh yeah, yeah. Look, OG right here. Ah, on the black side, pain. Yeah, look at Big Mike over there. Mike over there, they call him Bodyguard Mike. The best CT impressions ever. Yes, sir. So it was just all good energy. All love in Houston, man. I can't wait to come back. There go Julius. So you're going to come over here and you're going to take up the rest of the space. The rest of the space, everybody in. It's like 5,000 pounds in this booth. Yeah, the, the swole booth. You know? Um, but again, man, the kids. The kids, and that's that's what, what we got coming. I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait till we get together next week to be able to express that, man. What we got coming is, is, is so dope. Heavy Iron Fitness, son of a beast. Make sure y'all subscribe to Heavy Iron Fitness too, man. He gonna he gonna start doing content for it. Look at my man right here. That boy got that good hair. Good good hair. Big dog right there. You know what I'm saying? Then then look at her bicep peak in mind. So I'm glad I cut I cut her shit short. She was too ripped. She she made me like a fool out there. But just meeting the people, man, having a good time. Um, this was this was like I can do this all the time. You know, my boy, Mr. Obese. Yeah, that's my guy. Hard work, man. I, I don't even know if I can lift today. I'm exhausted, but so it's worth it. It's all worth it, man. Yeah, y'all. Uh, this ain't just standing at loops. This is real live work. So I hope y'all enjoyed that little perspective of that. The, the Jungle Wars right before the actual war. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, man. Follow me on all social media platforms. And there's more blessings to come. I'm going to keep the content rolling, man. I appreciate y'all. Without y'all, there is no Midwest calling. There is no Jungle Wars. There is no Son of a Beast, man. Straight up. Stay tuned.